welcome to Panthaki Learn. Thank you for watching our video. If you like this video, kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. Now we are going to see how to apply watermark on the image using SWT stationary wavelet transform. So all the procedures are almost same. Uh, like here I have made a folder and I have some couple of images by fusing two types of images two different uh, extension of images only here it is made as one same image and that same image means uh, one image will be taken as watermark and the other image will be known as the mandatory one okay which is the main image so in this way like uh, once when we are just uh, providing the function there are some image processing should be done so till now what and all we have seen uh, covered almost uh, all the particular basics over here now we are just moving on to the next level so to the next level with this swt what types of image processing applications can be created so among that uh, this is one of the uh, widely applied application known as watermark generally if you go for the watermark means it is used only for the purpose of security so regarding the security means here the content whatever we are providing inside the photo or let it be the paper that content belongs to a particular organization or a person so let it be whomever if we, even if the person also there means they will be just providing their some details on it if it is an organization means the organization's details will be there like uh, the logo or it does anything I think it may be the name of the company so that comes under the watermark so generally how the watermark is applied it is nothing but fusion only so the fusion means combining two objects into a single object so under that fusion here I am going to fuse two images so what must be the step under the steps here one image will be brightened that is the real image and the true target the second one is nothing but the watermarked image so that image opacity should be reduced so how that particular thing is being reduced and it is being applied that complete process here we will be able to see in this particular program so as usual we have provided the clc clear all and uh, close all over there now onto that here inside this folder only i have the images therefore change directory cd change directory images then file equal to ui get file so through ui itself the file window gets opened we can select uh, whatever we need then input 1 equal to im read file whatever it is read over here including the file name everything it will be read then r comma c comma p row comma column comma pixels the size will be provided as input if the pixels are greater than one it will be converted into gray then uh, obviously it will be converting into gray only because we are providing the color images then after that the cd this particular process ends therefore the main image has been taken not the watermarking image the main image first we are taking the main image only that will be displayed then therefore that input will be displayed over here for that only i am show then next for the second image the second image is known as the watermarking image cd images file one ui get file input 2 equal to i am read file one so whatever here we are reading those data will be read to come out of the file cd with extension and r comma c comma p whatever we have given the same repetition repetition over here now after that the pre-processing will be applied so what is the main importance of the pre-processing here means not only for converting from rgb to gray if we are going to use two images means the mandatory and the most important reason is both the image must be in same size in its orientation whether if it is square or rectangle if one of the images in square means the other image also should be in square one image is in rectangle means the other image also should be in rectangle so like that only here we will be just working over here therefore the resize application is done input 
and here we can resize it 256 comma 256 okay then therefore we can apply with the figure in order to see that uh, how it has been resized both the images therefore the pre-processing stage 1 is completed after pre-processing we have to remove the unwanted noises the unwanted noises means some black spots or white spots if anything is available means it will be removed with the help of median filter too the median filter has been applied and therefore noise removal image also will be displayed now on to that the same pre-processing and the noise removal will be applied for the second image also now we are starting with SWT so for SWT here we have provided the four variables the four different variables are there and difference between that particular four variables already we have seen in uh, previous versions of DWT and SWT then on to this we are calling our SWT2 so the respective input will be called then here which input we are taking means both the inputs first set belongs to the input 1 the second uh, set belongs to the input 2 so that input 2 uh, it is completely comes under the process like yes so here we can see the noise removal one this value only here also we have called of the watermark image and the range will be one only the level of the testability is provided as one because we are not uh, going to decompose in a higher level so higher level of decomposition is not needed for watermarking the only thing is required it has to be opacity should be reduced so on this particular basis only we will be able to get and the simlet is applied for the second level uh, here we are not providing the decibels here it is simlet only so simlet is for two, second level now therefore we are calling all our uh, particular variables in a sliced format so these two belongs to a single row and these two belongs to the next row now those images will be displayed over there after that we have to take the input image so from that uh, the another image if, after taking that here the same process we are applying the same process for the secondary image also is applied now the first image whatever we have calculated it will be multiplied with the 0.5 so that 0.5 is a standard value for reducing the particular opacity over there now based on this particular equation here this a1l1 is getting multiplied with aflf sorry afl1 the same thing will be uh, combined in the form of a particular ratio of value into the d and therefore finally it will be comparing whether it is greater than zero or not so similarly the three values will be applied so the three combination of values means it is like an iteration iteration process only uh, so like a continuation process so this aflf of one here it will be calculated and uh, from that we will be collecting that decomposition value now from the decomposition value the next one and like that it moves on till it iterates for the third order so from the third order only here we will be calculating the fused purpose so finally we will be able to get that different fusing value so the final part whichever we have called for all the different uh, angles like horizontal vertical and diagonal it comes under this variable only af hf vf and df for calculating this manual functions only this formula is being applied this can be used for all the applications for manual calculation because here the automatic calculation cannot be done because we are compressing that particular image based on our own requirement and the level should should not be changed so that is the meaning over here so that's why here it doesn't have any inbuilt function for that so we have to calculate it why means after pre-processing and after this compression the restructure uh, restructure we have to do and onto the restructure also inside the restructure the inversing apply should be created in the form of a real image so for that only this is a manually return so normally if we apply means previous output we might have seen so it may be some sort of blood and all 
because normally if we read that image means we can get it in the form of this value like this we will be able to get uh, one image will be separated into the four values but here what we are doing means four images four points are being converted into a single value using iswt2 so in this way only here we have to reconstruct that image but in reconstructing the color is not applicable so first i am going to select one image i am going to select 0.jpg and 14.png now within fraction of seconds all the outputs will be executed okay so now this is the fused image we can get back to that last so as usual this is our input image it has been converted into the grayscale and this is our output image sorry the second input image now this is our pre-processed image so this image has been resized so you can see that comparison only the size will be varied and the noise also removed for the input one the next is the second input image and pre-processing it so before pre-processing the noise sorry after pre-processing the noise will be removed then after that this is the SWT of the image one so here we can see how that particular pattern has been applied the same way like which we have seen for DWT only some minute uh, differences will be there when we compare to DWT and uh, SWT over here okay so the second input also has been worked out and finally here we can see that both has been merged into a single image so this part only is most important and if you want to just uh, save or export anything it can be done copy as an image so in this way only the watermark will be applied using swt in matlab with image processing thank you for watching our video if you like this video kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends don't forget to subscribe our channel